It's the 11th. We're getting through this. <laughs> I think we're, at, I'm pretty sure we're out of solar eclipse season, not, or eclipse season. Um, Mars moved into Leo, which felt very ouchy for me. I think a lot of people, I got stung. Mercury retrograde and that move of Mars into Leo brought back paperwork from 12 years ago, 12 years ago that I had to sign yesterday. What happened to you? So we'll talk about all this and find out what's in store of an arsenal of ways to get messages today. And I'm thrilled that you're here with me. Thank you. I'm gonna get started. Um, I gotta meditate on what, which cards to use today. I'm really drawn towards the astrological and the moonology oracle cards for sure. And of course, my special um, Raider, Raider weight tarot and my mom's linens. So I'm drawn to this for sure. Maybe we'll start with the Celtic cross today and then see what the oracles have to tell us. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am super drawn to pulling some runes for us today. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull three so we can figure out past, present, future concepts. Okay, so there are those three. These are my favorite crystals and little trinkets I also keep in this bowl. I'm going to do that, set this up. Okay, well, we're gonna deal with what we've been dealt. <laughs> more, 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 more of how we're having to accept the changes that we're going through, that back and forth pull that I feel, and I think a lot of people feel because of the Saturn Uranus square that's happening now for the second time, and we'll go through this one more time but if you watch some of the astrology experts, they'll talk about a real back and forth pull with starting something, stopping, or not knowing when to start something. Don't start something in the middle of a Mercury retrograde, and which is ending soon. So there's a lot of reason to know that just from a astrological perspective, it's gonna feel a little better soon. Anyway, so we have the rune of ice, the rune of the yew tree, and the rune of mystery. So let me break it down. This is the hanged man in tarot. This is the death card in tarot. I think I hold it like this-ish, anyway. And this is the world in tarot. So we have three major arcana cards here, all indicating the experience of hardship, the need for protection and wisdom. So let's start with the rune of ice and the power of obstacles. And really this tells you it's time to be silent and still if you're blocked, then look within and listen to the message of the universe to guide you. Okay, this is the past, the last week or so, I feel. So the this is the power of immortality. Let's see, I think it goes this way. I'm not, anyway. It's the rune of protection. It also, in tarot, the death card represents uh, Scorpio, but change, enlightenment. And I say it's time to expect the end of something. Look to magical enlightenment for protection in a new path. Okay. Okay. So we just have to accept what we're dealt with, the papers we had to sign. 
the feeling of when is it going to be my turn? So it's all a mystery, right? Here it is, the rune of mystery, the power of the cauldron, wisdom. It's time to brew your own potion in the cauldron. Take fate into your own hands and stir up something wonderful. I'm sorry about my dog, she's crying. Just ignore it. So stir up something wonderful, okay. So thank you, Light Team. Yes, we're, we're still going through changes and endings and manifesting our new beginning. How are we going to do that? Well, let's get some more inspiration. Also, a few of you subscribed. Thank you. You're the best. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm super grateful because I really, really love doing this. And every time... I see that people watched or view, subscribed or viewed. It really inspires me to share this energy with you. So thank you. Keep it coming. All right, I'm gonna pull some more cards for you. Be right back. Okay, I deliberated. I'm gonna do a Celtic cross for you. So let's get started. Seven of Cups, Page of Cups. The Empress, I'm liking this so far. While I do this, I, I must tell you that um, Two of Swords, I'm a huge animal lover, so I get up every day and I have a lot to do with the animals. So this is the reason I look the way I do, but I think the way I look isn't that important. What's important is the energy we share. And maybe you like the way I look, I don't know. But I hope you like my energy and the way that we can get messages to flow. Some of these cards are coming in reverse, and that's okay. We'll see. I don't always uh, read reverses. I, I feel like it's just a little better energy so I know you can't see everything um we have I'll go over it with you let's get to it um intuitively I can tell you I feel like this is gonna be about love but it's also about it's also about new beginnings and being decisive when you need to be, being uh, like an empress and that's gender fluid. Um, the overall outcome is the seven of wands. And, you know, Intuitively, I, I, there's a lot I could tell you about the Seven of Wands and we'll get into that, but you know, the outcome is basically someone who's, who's been through this change and it was a bit of a struggle, but he's conquered the situation. So we just have to move forward. Let me see what the card is on the bottom of the deck. Oh, look. That's a great card, okay? So over, overall energy is very hopeful. Very, very hopeful. That's interesting. We have a six and seven wands. Okay, well, I'm sorry for the delay. Let me get to it, let's get to it. Let's get these messages rolling. Okay, this is incredibly interesting. I do feel it is a love reading today. So, Mars moving into Leo and Saturn squaring Uranus. Um, some of this may be about love and work. Some of you may be 
in a relationship where you're working together. Um, and many of us just want to know about love. <laughs> When's our next hug? So um, let's get started. The significant card in our Celtic cross today is the Seven of Cups. And this is basically the overall kind of dreamy, state of mind, reflecting on the past, um, contemplating. Okay, so yes, we have been there for a while. The basic challenge, what it's crossed by is the Page of Cups. And this represents desires, emotional news. Um, cups, as you know, represent water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Pages, um, represent also a young vitality kind of feeling. So I feel like this is our basic challenge is to, to start again. Um, there's an indication in the Celtic cross that maybe some of you are fighting with the ones you love. Um, so that could be your basic challenge. What's above you, what, what you can make your own is the Empress. And she's a caring mother. Um, this also represents nurture and creativity. There's a big theme of being creative here, but it also represents difficulty and doubt. And I may have to pause this if my dog keeps barking. Difficulty and doubt, but a, a naturing, nurturing nature, okay? So I think that that will give any of you um, who are taking pause about your relationship or you're stuck with creativity, nurture yourself through this and know you're okay and it's gonna work out. What you can work with is the, is the two of swords, which a lot of times people say, oh, this is a woman who's stuck, or a person who's stuck, who can't make up their mind. But the divine meaning also indicates courage, friendship, uh, swords are intellect and change and action. And it also represents the desire of wanting to be in someone's arms. So what's just behind you is the wheel of fortune in reverse, which is of increased abundance. So no matter if you're feeling a little wonky today or wobbly, just behind you has been abundance and just ahead of you or in front of you is the reverse eight cups, which is great joy, happiness, a lot of good things. Dog barking. Get that back. Okay, I think she's done. So I'll just keep talking. So we had the reverse eight of cups is what's just in front of you, which is great joy and happiness. So you're gonna work this out. But your attitude is a, the devil in reverse, which is pettiness. So I want you, uh, my light team, thank you. They want you to be grateful for everything. Don't be petty. Life's too short to be petty. And I know sometimes we really feel that the issue at hand is not petty. It's not petty at all. It means a lot to us. But in the scheme of things, what is most important? Getting through this conflict um, with grace, getting through changes with grace, not being petty, trying not to argue, trying to be happy. This is what this is about. Manifesting creativity, love, stability, desires, all those good things that you want. Don't be petty. That's simply it. That's all. That's, that's pretty clear. Nothing very scary here. Just don't be petty. Effects on others is the page of wands and 
we have a lot of pages here. These are new beginnings and good energy. And the, this one is one of love and spiritualness, creativity, and original thoughts. So I think you're growing past being petty. And you're making life choices with someone. This is the effect on others. The choices that you make that need to be right for your soul are going to affect others. But this seems like a good beginning full of love and creativity and original thoughts. So then we're going to move into what are your hopes and fears and you have the Ace of Swords. Um, this is a card of great force in love and hate. So I think this is what you're worried about is the conflict you're experiencing. Is it going to end up in love or hating someone? Well, don't be petty and, and seek love above all. And even if it, it, if it feels more than petty, um, I know that could be insulting to say, oh, you're just being petty. Um, I don't want to negate how you feel about a situation. So know that with the Page of Wands and New Beginnings, original thought that you will overcome any fears of this not working out well and come from a beginning of starting a new path with a lot of opportunities. And so the outcome is the seven of wands. Now, a lot of times people will say, oh, he's got two, two stuck in the ground and what a battle and this is tough and but seven speaks to dreams and discovery and looking to the future. A lot of his hard stuff is over. Um, I'm so sorry about my dog. Her name is Pippa. It is also though a plan that may fail. So this energy of being petty and having to be sure that you love wins over hate you know don't have original thoughts a good plan not one that you is destined to fail so this really is speaking to a new path filled with love and grace and not one that you just plan to fail so as i mentioned previously the overall energy is the six of wands and this is a journey of by water, generally speaking. And I don't want you to think that we're moving backwards when we go from seven to six. I really feel like this is moving from struggle to something more celebratory. And in some instances, this could be a proposal of love. So... It, it, there's an interesting theme here of going from the ace to of beginnings to this struggle to this possible lovely outcome. Now, in general, with these wands, I can tell you that they are uh, represent messages coming in. They're spiritual. They represent Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and again, this deals with life choices. So what is this? Some of you might need to make a decision about this relationship, even maybe whether you're going to take it to the next step through a proposal. And it also... Um, Just stop there. Okay, so I'm just putting away my tarot cards and my mom's linens. I've lost a lot of people, my parents included. So I love to treasure these cards in particular, honor, honor my family and my spirit angels.
and I like to protect them in that way. So I gave it some thought and I wanna pull the Moonology cards today, being that we're going through all this uh, astrology uh, issues. <laughs> I think that's the best way I can put it. So this is the Moonology Oracle cards by Yasmin Boland. Um, a lot of tarot readers use them. I They're one of my favorite, being a moon child. So, you know, what can I tell you? All right. Light team. Let's get three from here. Now, you'll notice a lot of times I don't shuffle on online. Um, it just takes up so much time. I talk of a lot anyway. And I hate all the noise. I'm trying to talk over it because it really is like someone chewing food to me, constantly shuffling. But I want them to jump. And honestly, oh, that's too many. I don't take these in reverse, so let's see. I am, I'm doing past, present, future with the Oracle cards. So we just need one more. Oh, these are beautiful. I love the message. You guys are gonna be jazzed up. And again, I'm so grateful that you could be here with me today. Can you see these? I just, candle went out, partly. Um, I think that's just because I moved it. Spirits, be nice. Um, I want to thank you again for being with me. I'll be here every day with you. I am, I love this. It's my passion. There's a lot of other things I do we can talk about, but I love this and I'm so grateful. Please like and continue to share and subscribe with me. And let's just talk about this. You, this is so exciting. Okay, so one thing that Moonology offers in a reading past, present, and future is under the conditions of a new moon, which we've just gone through. So I'm going to call this a new moon rising. So the first card is what's rising up in me. The second is the main message, this new moon. The third is the final outcome. So what's rising up in you? Show the world the real you. Show the world the real you. Be honest. Come from original thought. And don't be petty. And this represents the full moon in Aquarius, which is an air sign. But for all of us, we want to be real. So the main message this new moon is the energy is gaining momentum. The energy is gaining momentum for sure. We have to keep moving forward. We have to. So thank you Spirit Team for reminding us. The final outcome for this new moon season, you're very close to achieving your goal. Very close. So as we move out of Mercury retrograde, Go ahead and implement those plans. Don't be scared. When it comes to love, please love. Get through this argument. Don't be petty. Life's too short. And when it comes to maybe you don't have love, so then know that you are enough. I want you to love yourself because that's where all love starts with God and yourself. And then you can love everyone else. And I want you to know that messages will be coming in, positive messages. So that's an overall theme too. Um, we had some struggles, but now some good messages and some good vibes are coming in. So I'm very excited for all of us. And I wish you a great day. And I look forward to doing this over and over and over again and growing this channel with you. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. And I know I'm new, but don't accept messages from anyone pretending to be me. I would hate for someone to do that to you. 
um, I'm not at, at that stage where I can do that through YouTube, even, even post a comment yet. So help me grow the channel and we can do a lot more, but don't let anybody interfere with the good energy between us. And where there's truth, there's love. Where there's love, there's truth. However you want to say it, be loving, be truthful, and the world will be a better place. Peace.